Hi, I'm Glenn with Independence Training. In the majority of our firearms courses, our students get to experience the use of dummy rounds, which we use to induce malfunctions in their firearms during the training. Now, during training classes, people are more likely to experience a, a host of greater malfunctions than they should ever experience in the real world. With the use of good firearms and good ammunition, you're not that likely to experience as many problems as you do during training. The reason that we do it during training is so that our students not only understand how malfunctions happen, but also how to fix them quickly and efficiently to get their firearm back into operation. Now we use and recommend these safety trainer rounds, and we like them because they're completely plastic, so they're entirely inert. They're bright orange, so it's easy to see them when they're kicked out onto the ground, regardless of the kind of terrain that you're in. And they're relatively durable, but more importantly, very cost effective. Now some of the other rounds I've seen on the market are green or gray or even brown. And while they're made of the same type of material, the downside to them is they're harder to find when you kick them out on the ground. Now none of these are to be confused with the old snap caps. Now snap caps are not required for dry practice. The idea behind them is that there's a spring inside activated by this little rubber primer on the back that quote unquote absorbs the, you know, the damage, so to speak, that would happen from the firing pin moving freely inside the chamber. But they're not really required for dry practice training, and they're very expensive. They're also typically colored in some odd color that would be hard to find if you were going to use them outside. Another type of dummy round that you'll see a lot are plastic bullets and plastic primers set into actual brass, or in this case, nickel-plated brass casings. Now the upside of these is they're very durable. The downside to them is, A, it could be potentially a hazard in mixing it up with live ammunition, and B, when you kick these out on the ground amongst a, a big you know, pile of brass that you've already fired, it doesn't take much for a little bit of dirt to get kicked over the bullet and then make them more difficult to find. Now safety trainers are available in just about every caliber. Here's the ones that we use most typically. Now there's other calibers available other than this, so you know, do some internet searching. And if you look down in the description, we'll put a couple of links to the places where we typically buy our dummy rounds from. Now it's absolutely vital that if you're going to use dummy rounds to dry practice in a location where you're not going to be putting bullets down range, so you're not out of the range or a shooting area mixing dummy rounds in with live rounds to simulate malfunctions, as I mentioned earlier, that we do during our classes. If you're using dummy rounds at your house or in your office or your garage or whatever, it's vital, absolutely vital, that you not just clear your firearm, but that you double check that your firearm is 100% clear, and then that you remove all live ammunition completely from the area to include anything that you may carry on your side, in a pocket, or anything of that nature. You can practice reloads. Stove pipes, double speed malfunctions, or magazine exchanges. I can practice these very uh, repetitive tasks to build good muscle memory. So when I'm out doing live fire training or practice, I don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. I can instead work, at, work on marksmanship movement, defensive tactics, things like that. So for your own training purposes, I highly recommend picking up some safety trainer rounds. They're very cost effective. You can buy them in big bags of 50, go in on a buy with a couple of your friends, or just stock up for the future of eventually having to wear them out and replace them. They're great for dry practice. They're great for live fire practice as well. But again, I want to stress, if you're going to dry practice, make sure that you have completely unloaded your firearm, that you're 100% and double checked, that it is clear and all ammunition is removed from the area. As always, stay aware, stay safe, and train hard.